Hey, in this video, I'll show you how to implement a dynamic input form on Flutterflow without custom code. Let's say you're developing an app to generate an invoice like this one. At first, you may only need input fields for static information. However, when it comes to recording data for a table like this, a dynamic input form is required. For example, you need to record the name, the price, and the quantity for each item or service. But the problem is, you can't predict the exact number of entries beforehand. To handle this dynamically, we create a form where users can add as many items as needed. That form will look something like this. Here's how to implement this in Flutterflow. Start by designing the layout with input fields for item details, including name, price, quantity, and a plus icon to add new items. Then, create a list view widget to display added items dynamically. Each item will represent a row in the list view. I will show you my widget tree here to copy exactly how I build this UI. Once this is done, define a state variable to store the list of items. Initially, this list may contain one predefined items, but the users will be able to add more dynamically. We'll give this paste state variable a name, it will be the type string, and it will be a list. Another thing I like to do is create our first item here, so that we can fetch it and display it as the first item on the list. I will just give it an item name, the price, as well as some random quantity. Once our page state variable is created, what we need to do is select our list view here and generate its children from that list. Oh, I think I did something wrong here. I should have given I should have given this a variable name. As you can see, once I give this a variable name, our list will now begin to dynamically populate. So go back and set the text source to the item name. To add to add items to the list, we simply need to update our page state variable. And we do that by clicking our plus icon and adding an action for updating a page state variable. Our update type is going to be add to list. Our value to add is going to be combined text. And within this combined text, I'm going to combine all the values for our item name our price and our quantity into one single string so that we can store it in our page state variable. What we need to do is to implement a mechanism to delete items and to do that we simply add an action to update the page state variable to this icon we added here and this time 
our update type will be remove and the value to remove will be our item here. And if you followed everything correctly, this should now work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to preview this and test it to show you how it works. Uh, I think I clicked on the on the wrong screen. Let me try to compile this and show you how it works. When it is compiled so once you've compiled this code it should work something like this to get the source code to this complete project here click the link in the description down below don't forget to like the video subscribe and leave a comment down below thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.